Do you know that doctrine is not there to imprison you, but to further strengthen your consecration to God? I mean, you should not see doctrine as something that is wrong, but it's something made from the scriptures to help to build you, to help to improve you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, today we look at take heed, take heed to doctrine. Take heed to doctrine. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Our memory verse will be 1 Timothy 4.16, while our Bible passage will be 2 Timothy 4, 2 to 5. Let us pray. My Lord and my God, you are the one that gave the inspiration to write the scripture. You are the one that teach your children through the scripture. You have made the scripture available for leaders our fathers and mothers in the Lord to develop doctrines from it. Therefore, Lord, I pray that you give us the wisdom, the enablement to be able to take these doctrines, digest them, and apply them in our lives. They are meant to improve us. They are meant to strengthen us. They are meant to make us better Christians. Help us to live by them in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We'll take the Bible passage because it's a short one, I believe. Second Timothy chapter 2, verse 2 to 5. It says, Preach the gospel. Be instant in season. And out of season, reprove, rebook, exalt with all long sufferings and doctrine. You know, for the time will come, according to the word of God, when they will not endure sound doctrines, but after their own lust shall they heap. To themselves teachers having itching ears and they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be torn unto fables but watch thou in all things endure affliction do the work of an evangelist make full proof of thy ministry that is the word of God. And may the word of God continue to edify our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let us quickly also take the memory verse for today. It is 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 16. It says, Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine. Continue in them. For in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. Live with the, the, the doctrine, run with it. Make it part and parcel of your life that it will impart on you and impart on those who hear you, who listen to you, starting from your family and the children of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In the teaching of this today, I think the Lord made it clear. It's a kind of reminder that Christians these days, they look for ways to water down certain doctrines and prove that they are useless. Some even go to the extent when the doctrines of their Bible believing churches detects that they should not dress in a certain way. For example, they go 
about looking for Hebrew and Greek interpretations of scriptures to say that the doctrine is useless and it is wrong. This is not right at all. Doctrines are a major part of your Christian work. Although they can sometimes appear to be tough to live by, but beloved, things that are good are never easy. The gospel, the doctrines, they, they are meant to build you. They are meant to develop you, edify you to become somebody better. They are codes of conduct that will keep you consecrated. A doctrine may not seem interesting when you are living by it. But if you keep doing it over time, you will realize that it has helped you in staying strong and becoming a better Christian. Praise the Lord. Our God is always solidly behind doctrines. That is why in 2 Timothy 3.16, it says that one of the reasons God gave all scripture is for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. And you know that the scripture was given by the inspiration of God and it's profited for doctrine, like the Bible says. So the scripture recognizes that doctrine is there to help our day-to-day -day living as Christians. Therefore, you, you must note, you must note that doctrines are gotten from the scripture by the representative of God that are your leaders the leaders of different denominations. The head of another denomination may not develop a, their doctrine from the same scripture. But as long as the fellow whom you call your father in the Lord develops a certain doctrine from the scripture, you have to live by it. That is why you call him my spiritual father, my father in the Lord. He will not develop a doctrine, you know, to belittle you, to demean you, but no, but to build you to become a better Christian and a better child of God. The early church was strong and very fervent. They were fervent Christians because they continue steadfastly in the doctrine of the of their leaders and their leaders we are the apostles according to Acts of apostles 2 42 it said that and they continue steadfastly in the apostles doctrine and fellowship and in breaking of bread and in prayers we must note note take note of that that you are not to choose which doctrine to follow based on convenience. This one is convenient for you. Oh, I'm comfortable with this one. I'm not comfortable with this one. No, that is not what a doctrine is all about. It's not for your convenience. But based on your conviction that the one who brought the doctrine developed it from the scripture, you should also... Be convinced that the person is the spiritual leader that God wants you to submit to. Know you that doctrines raised from the scriptures will set you apart from the world. They are great catalysts for your spiritual growth and well-being. Hmm. 
dearly beloved, doctrine will build you, will do you good and not bad. Doctrine will make you a great Christian, a greater Christian, and will take you to places. Don't look at doctrines as an enslavement. No, not at all. May God help you and may God be with you as you submit to the doctrines that have been laid by your spiritual leaders. God bless you. Amen. Our hymn today is hymn 30. Say, when we walk with the Lord, please sing it. Let it make your heart merry today. When we walk with the Lord in the light of His ways. May you walk with the Lord and may you enjoy all the benefits, all the goodies that is attached with walking with the Lord. Praise the Lord. I want to appreciate all my returning subscribers. God bless you. God bless every one of you. To those coming to my channel for the first time, God bless you. God bless you too. Please do hit that subscribe button if you've not. Give me a thumbs up if you like this topic. Take heed to doctrines. And your life will be far, far, far better as a Christian and as a believer. Feel free to share with friends and families, colleagues, neighbors, whoever that you have around you. Share with them. And the good Lord will give you the reward of an evangelist who shares his words with people. Do have a marvelous day.